A local nonprofit says they are on the verge of finding a cure for HPV-related cancers. 10 News anchor Lindsay Pena shows us how one family's loss could help save countless lives. You never know what life has to bring you, right? Fernanda Whitworth watched her husband Ralph battle cancer for years. So he couldn't swallow, him, he couldn't talk, he couldn't basically eat, so he lost 45 pounds. He was, it's literally barbaric. He was diagnosed with HPV-related tongue cancer in 2013, which eventually claimed his life in 2016. But before he died, the Whitworths began a quest to find a cure, and it's a mission Fernanda has carried on. I feel like we are so close to the, we are on the tipping point of finding the cure. The nonprofit they founded here in San Diego, called the Immunotherapy Foundation, is dedicated to funding the most promising research focused on HPV-driven cancers. So this is a huge problem that not only does HPV account for six different cancer types, almost 100% of cervical cancers, and in men now those um, the in instances are ri rising for head and neck cancer. The Centers for Disease Control estimate that about 14 million people get a new HPV infection every year in the U.S. Nearly all men and women who have ever had sex get at least one type of genital HPV at some time in their lives. The silver lining to the HPV story if there is one, is that it has a much better prognosis. Dr. Ezra Cohen is on the local team conducting this groundbreaking research in the fight against HPV-related cancers. The Immunotherapy Foundation is focused on these three categories. Adoptive cell therapies, which are treatments used to help the immune system fight diseases. Personalized vaccines intended to delay or stop cancer cell growth, to cause tumor shrinkage, or to prevent cancer from coming back and newly developed drugs. We're harnessing the power of an individual's immune system against their cancer. But in addition to treatment, the foundation also stresses the importance of prevention. It is a completely preventable cancer, just like any other HPV-related cancer, be it in cervix or anal cancer or penile cancer. Cohn says the HPV vaccine can prevent about 90 percent of reproductive cancers and 80 percent of oral cancers. But right now, only about 50 percent of girls and 25 percent of boys are getting it. And the guidelines for who should receive the vaccine have changed. Now it's recommended for anyone up to age 45. Between increased awareness and more effective treatment options, the hope is to make HPV-related cancer deaths a thing of the past. I am confident we will fulfill that vision. That was our Lindsay Pena. Several of the projects the Immunotherapy Foundation is working on are already in the clinical trial stage with humans. The hope is they could be used for any patient in the coming years.